All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover the, the actual retrieve of these paddle tails, extremely important. These paddle tail lures, they're, in my opinion, the best lure out there. They can, they're just so versatile. You can cover, you can fish the shallows like we're in now. We're in the extreme shallows. Put them on a jig head or uh, what Joe has a, a Texas side jig head. I have a, a weighted, a little weighted hook. Covers the shallows extremely well. And then put them on a jig head to cover deeper water. You know, let, the, let whatever you rig it with control the depth. But not only is the depth control with what you rig it with important, the actual retrieve is extremely important as well. And so uh, we've been out here for a little bit. We've gotten a bunch of reds. They're all small, but we've been having some fun. And, uh, and so it, Joe has been, you know, Joe's right here. We're basically using the same lure. We're both using the, the Slam Shady Paddle Tails. I caught, uh, was it four? Maybe, maybe three uh, reds? Well, I've said we were going to count here. <laughs> yeah. So I caught at least three. Um, and Joe's sitting, sitting right next to me using the same lure. Everything was the same except my retrieve was a little bit slower. And I'll show you what, I, what I've been doing. For the record, I did finally catch one once. I picked up what Luke was doing. Yeah, so as soon as, as, soon as he took note of what I was doing, um, his next cast he caught, he caught one. So what I'm doing is I have the rod tip low and I'm reeling, I'm reeling slow. We're still in the winter period. It's starting to warm up, so those fish are starting to push up shallow. But what I'm doing, I just sped it up there. What I'm doing is I'm just reeling in slow and then instead of doing a twitch, I just stop. So I let it stop, let, let it sit down, let it sink down to the bottom, reel again, stop. And I've been doing that. And so he was doing kind of a faster retrieve and doing the oop, doing the rod tip bump. I just yep. had a hit. Um, but just going at that, that little bit slower is what was generating the strike. These fish, they're, they're lethargic. They're not gonna be, they're not gonna be uh, just chasing, chasing down a, a bait or a, or a prey. But if something, if a, a, something that looks, looks tasty is right in their face and it looks like an easy meal, just the predator instinct, they're gonna come up and smack it. So super, super important is to, uh, when you are using these paddle tails, is to change the retrieve around. You know, do some faster, some slower. In the winter time, my default is to go slower. In the spring and fall, in summer, it gets faster. But again, every, every day can be different. A lot of times it depends on the front, even the water movement. Right now our tides are real, are real weak tides. Uh, we're out here just, uh, fish just killing some time trying to catch something. And, uh, and so, Winter time plus slow tides, it's like a guaranteed slower the better uh, mentality. And uh, we'll just keep fishing this, but just wanted to, oh, oh man, I just had another strike. Yeah, it's funny, when I do, when I stop and let it drop, I feel like every time I'm getting a little something, it's a pinfish, a little snapper or something, you'll know when the red hits. Yeah, you'll feel that thump. But yeah, it's crazy how two people, same boat, same lure, same area, and all it took was just slowing it down. Wonder how many fish I missed prior to that. Yeah, so just want to let you know about, oh, there we are, got him. <laughs> I was, nice. I totally, oh, I just lost him. Oh, what a good brother was going to do is go <laughs> yeah. right behind. Yeah, another strategy, yeah, as soon as somebody gets a fish, throw yours right in there. Because a lot of times there's more than one, especially in the wintertime. Let's so see that if we one can... felt a little bit bigger, too. That's a bummer. Of course it did. They always feel bigger when you miss them. <laughs> Oh, oh, there are a couple more in that area. Oh, yeah, gone. so we know there's fish there. So again, casting their slow, make, got to make a point. It's, it's easy to kind of get excited and go a little bit faster. Um, so I'm just still going Dang. slow, still do the pause. Every once in a while, we'll give it a little bump just to see. And I'm always changing it up, but lately this slow, so I can basically feel it dragging, so I'm gonna not slow it down too much. We basically wanted to get it as close to the bottom as possible without getting snagged and without just picking up weeds and, yep. and stuff on the bottom. So I'm going to reel up for another cast. See if we can get revenge on that. Yeah, I'm getting a bunch of little pinfish strikes. There's definitely some more fish out here. Well, that's it. You want to call it a, call this a, an official tip? Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to, we're out here and just thought this is a, just a good lesson that I, I made this mistake for a long time. Is, uh, is I was focused on the lure. Hey, I'd use this lure or that lure. If I, if I wasn't getting strikes, I would just change lures. I'd be, I had like a lure of every color and everything. And, and in reality, all I need to do is just change Ooh. the retrieve. Like in most of the, most of the cases, the, the action of the lure is what's gonna make or break a fish uh, eating it or not, as long as it's a pretty good lure. And so that has been a game changer. That's why I now just pretty much just use these paddle tails. And uh, this is like all I've been using for the past like six months, and it has been they've been working extremely well. And uh, and I just I just make sure that I am just pay a lot of attention 
to the, the depth, obviously based on the rigging, and then, uh, and then the actual retrieve speed and tempo. Super, super important. So when you have more information, check out saltstrong.com and we have a, uh, a fishing club uh, that has this, we made these lures for the fishing club members and uh, it's called the Slam Shady Paddle Tails. It's, uh, it's, it's basically a white paddle tail, but it has some gold and silver sparkles in there. So it's bit like white is always good, but this just gives, for some reason, this added flash, uh, it has been working better than I ever thought it would. And uh, if you haven't yet claimed your free pack, we are offering a free pack for, uh, for every household of an angler. And so if you haven't yet claimed yours, click the link down below and you'll get a free offer to get one of these. And what we're, why we're doing this is we're just hoping to earn your trust. The fishing club is our ultimate goal. That's like our number one thing. We have over 12,000 members uh, from Texas all the way up to Virginia who love catching snook, sea trout, redfish, flounder, and uh, it's the ultimate club for those anglers. So yeah, claim your free, uh, your free lure and you'll learn more about the club down below. Pow! Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong, and have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.